To reconnect a V2 that has fallen offline, you will first need to make sure the battery power is operating correctly. To do this, press the reset button. You should see the blue LED come on and stay on. If the blue light does not come on, replace the battery and try again. If it still does not work, contact tech support for assistance. Now open Test Wireless. This can be accessed by navigating to My Computer, the Reese Drive, Reese System, and then Test Wireless. Click Program V2 Connection and find the IP address for the appropriate V2 net. For this demonstration, there is only one V2 net connected to this machine. Verify that the channel is not set to zero. This means that the V2 net is connected properly. If the V2 net is connected properly, then all you need to do is join the module to it once again. To do this, look at the number of clicks set for the device. This device happens to be set for 8. On the V2 module, press Reset and then Join. Then press ping the number of times clicks are set for in test wireless. In this case, it happens to be 8. The light should blink each time the button is pressed. After that, the blue light should come back on for a few seconds while it routes itself to the network. If the blue light continues to flash once every 15 seconds, then the device is working properly. Verify the device is back online and reading the correct information. Should you need any help during this process, contact tech support for assistance.